Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel, or if you are new here, welcome. It is only 5.15 and look how dark it is outside, guys. Oh my goodness, thanks to the time change, it is dark pretty much, well, by 5 o'clock these days. Sun's already going down by like 4.30, so ugh, welcome to that time of year. But it also is the beginning of the Christmas season, so I'm filming this on Monday, November 15th, and I'll probably you'll probably see this on Tuesday, the 16th of November is when you'll probably see it. It's probably when I'll get it uploaded. But at any rate, um, I'm gonna just give you bring you guys a quick uh, grocery haul video from Superstore. Um, and as I said, it is the start of the Christmas season. It's already fully November 15th, but basically as soon as November 11th, which is Remembrance Day here in Canada, is over, that's when we start decorating for Christmas. We haven't actually started yet, but tonight we're going to start. So, but for now, I'm just going to, I'll bring you a separate video on that once we get the decorations all up. But for right now, I'm just going to do a grocery haul. And again, this is Real Canadian Superstore. So let's get started. There was um, on my app an offer for 8,000 bonus points if you spent a minimum $25 on Tide and Bounce products. So I spent, let's see, the Bounce sheets were $10.99 and the Tide was $20.97. I was going to just go for just the bare minimum $25, but there were no smaller boxes of Bounce sheets. I mean, there was a bigger box too, which was like 18 or 15, I think it was fifteen ninety eight. I want to say, the bigger one, and it probably would have made, it was slightly more sheets I think this one is 200 and that one would have been 240 so it might have been maybe more cost effective to get the largest one and maybe less cost effective to even get a smaller one but just just for budget wise it would have been a little bit cheaper for me but nonetheless I just there was no there were no smaller boxes of bounce available I guess because of this offer a lot of people were buying up the smaller boxes so I just went with a box of 200 so that will keep us well stocked for a while and this is 73 Tide Pods so that will keep us stocked for a good while as well so again, it was 8,000 bonus points if you spend a minimum $25 on Tide and Bounce. And I spent $10.99 on Bounce, $20.97 on Tide, so I definitely earned my bonus points there. Then I bought my daughter. Yes, she's 21, but I still bought her an advent calendar. Quite often, I'll, got, I'll just buy the dollar ones at the dollar store, but this year, if you saw one of my previous videos, you'll know that I splurged and bought myself an After 8 advent calendar and a Reese's one for my husband and normally we don't even buy advent calendars for ourselves certainly not ones that are like ten dollars a piece or specialty ones like that but but I did and so in this case because I did that for us I decided to go ahead and get my daughter a special one too rather than just a dollar store one um, so I got her a lint chocolate teddy one and that was $8.98 for her advent calendar I did get a package of no-name colored mini marshmallows I do have some bags of Mini, colored mini marshmallows left from last year but my concern is they are from last year and they're probably getting a little bit stale I don't know if they're good still or not they may be but if I start to put them in a square and they're not good because they're several months old or almost a year old then my square might not turn out so well so I decided just to get a bag for right now I don't know how many bags I'll really need probably not a lot I usually do that to uh, peanut butter confetti square I think is what's called or butterscotch confetti square where you melt the uh, butterscotch uh, baking chips and the peanut butter and add um, colored mini marshmallows to it and I'll probably only need to make one pan of that or maybe two at most but at any rate it's only mid-November but I know I know from every year I always buy them early because these mini marshmallows always sell out and people are always looking for them they usually have a hard time buying the but finding the butterscotch chips and the colored mini marshmallows now, I didn't buy the butterscotch chips today. I'm pretty sure I can just get them at my store, too. And I think they're on sale there right now. And I think I may still have a bag of those. But I just wasn't sure how fresh my other bags of these colored mini marshmallows are. So I thought I would buy a new bag just in case. And those were... I oh, if I can find them on here. Oh, not offhand. I know they're on my receipt somewhere. I'm just looking at the side here. Marshmallow, they were $1.98. And then Old Mill Bread was on my PC Optimum offers, um, and they were $1.57 each, so that was a little over $3, which is good because the offer was for however many points per $1 spent, so I got that three times, basically. Bananas, not on my offers, but we needed some. You can see in the background, I only have two bananas left in my bowl. Some salad dressings. These are craft salad dressings that I use as marinades for pork chops and chicken breasts. Not on my offers, but they were on sale, $2.50 a piece if you bought them in quantities of two. So I bought a couple of our favorites. So I got two sun-dried tomato and oregano, two great feta and oregano. And then for this one, I got an olive oil, 
pesto parmesan Italian and a zesty Italian. And these are really good just for marinating chicken breasts or pork chops in and then baking them in the oven. And then there was another offer for 2,500 points if you bought uh, the President's Choice brand of semi-sweet chocolate baking chips. Now again, anything that is yellow packaging with a black bar that says no name is store brand at Superstore, but also anything that is President's Choice, as this says, is also store brand at Superstore. Now normally I would probably take and buy a large bag of the semi-sweet chocolate chips, whether I buy the Chippets brand or the President's Choice brand, both are good. Usually President's Choice is a little cheaper, so usually I would go for the larger bag. I only went with this because the offer was if you bought two bags of this size, anywhere from 260 grams to 300 grams. So I just bought two of those and earned my 2,500 points. I'm trying to see how much they were. They were $2.89 a piece for those. Three packages of tender plate, tender flake lard. I'm intending to make some pies over the Christmas season. Uh, they were, oh, where are they? They should be right on the receipt too. I know they're here. Why can't I never see them when I'm looking for them? Uh, $2.48 a piece. That's a little bit cheaper than normal. I think they're usually closer to $3. So I got three, three blocks of lard. I got some molasses. That was $4.49. I only really use that when I make, um, Ginger snap cookies, but I always make those at Christmas. And then over here, I got four cans of No Name brand tomato paste, again with a yellow bar with the black No Name label. Um, no Name brand tomato, tomato paste and tomato sauces were on my offers, so I did get some of those. I'm looking at making, starting something I haven't done in a long time, just going back to making my own spaghetti, spaghetti, I can't talk today, guys, I'm sorry. My own spaghetti sauce from scratch. And I can't remember what size of tomato sauce jars it requires, but I'm pretty certain that there's, it does take a cup, at least a couple of jars of tomato sauce. So I decided to grab a couple of those while I was there, since they're on my offers anyway. They were a dollar each or two for a dollar eighty. So they were basically ninety cents each. So I got four of them. That was three dollars and sixty cents for the four. And then I also got uh, no name tomato paste. They were just seventy nine cents a piece, so three at seventy nine. That's two thirty seven. And then over here, four cans no name brand of the mandarin orange segments. I do have a recipe that requires like a orange Jello and Cool Whip and some mandarin orange segments, and I'd like to try. So I got those, and those were a dollar a piece. And those were also on my offers. The no name canned fruit were on my offers as well. So, this is what we've got here. You can see PC Optimum Holiday Offer. That is right underneath the PC Chocolate Chips. That shows the 2,500 points there. And I'll give you a breakdown of my points. If I can get it to focus. You can see my subtotal was 91.40 and after tax was 96.55. Procter & Gamble, 8,000 points. That is for the Tide and Bounce products over there. The Old Mill Sliced Bread, 600 points. No Name Tomato Sauces was 1,200 points. That includes the tomato paste. And the No Name Canned Fruit is 800 points. So if I'm doing the math here quickly, that is showing me 8,298. That's 10,600 points right there that's listed. It doesn't show the chocolate chip one, but that chocolate chip is listed up here. So 10,600 points plus the 2,500 should equal 13,100 points. And if I can find the breakdown down here at the bottom, points, re points redeemed, zero, earned 13,100 points. <clears throat> Pardon me, just like I said, 13,100 points earned. And that leaves me with a closing balance of 118,029 points. And once again, you can redeem in store in Superstore in $10 increments. So because I'm sitting at 118,000 points currently, that means I currently have $110 in PC Optimum points that I can use in store for groceries if I need to. I'm almost at the 120,000 point mark. Um, so I'm trying to build it up. I'm saving them up for Christmas at this point. I would hoping to get to 120 or 130,000, somewhere in there, maybe even 140,000. And then mid-December when I need to do my big shop for Christmas, whether it's to get groceries or some last stocking stuffers like uh, chocolates or whatever to put in stockings, then I can just cash in my points to do that. Or maybe even a couple of gifts because it, Superstore is a department store too. They do have clothing and pharmacy items and even toys and decor and stuff too. Although I suspect that most of what I'll be buying in mid-December will be 
groceries for the Christmas meal and probably some stocking stuffers. I probably won't be buying decor stuff at that time. So anyway, that's everything I got for today. There is another offer that I didn't buy. I didn't get, and that was, I think it's like 7,000 points if you buy $70 worth of beef. I didn't pick up any meat today. I'm debating about it because initially I had budgeted a little bit more for groceries today and I actually spent less than 100. So that's not bad. I just need to take a look at the rest of my budget for between... I've got a very noisy bird on me. As you can tell, he keeps coming and going and squawking away. Um, I need to take a look at the rest of my budget because I don't get paid again now. It's Monday when I'm filming this. I don't get paid now until a week from Thursday. Just need to make sure I have everything covered that I need to for between now and then. And then if there's extra, I may go and get that meat offer and stock up on ground beef or maybe a pot roast or two or something and load up the freezer. But I don't know. We'll see. I don't want to overspend just for the sake of it right now because I haven't really done much in the way of Christmas shopping yet and I st still need to order our photo Christmas cards. It's a busy, it's a busy and expensive time of year, so I don't want to overdo it right now. But if there's room in the budget, I may go back and get that meat and uh, get those points because then that extra 7,000 would put be well over the 120,000 point mark and uh, that would be all right. But we'll see. Play it by year. Um, if I do, it's Monday right now and if I do that, I do have to go back um, by Wednesday closing because at Wednesday closing is when the PC Optimo offers for the weekend and we get a new set of offers on Thursday morning. Anyway, but that is where it sits right now. I only spent $96.55 today. This doesn't look like a lot for $96, but again, realize that there's $30 right here. $30 right here and nine right there. So there's $40 right there. So that's almost half the grocery haul right there so at any rate i hope you enjoyed this and if you did please do subscribe if you're new feel free to give this video a thumbs up and leave a comment down below and of course keep an eye out for any future videos i've got a vlog uploading uh that you will probably have seen by the time this uploads i'm hoping this uploads on tuesday the vlog will have uploaded monday um and i'm hoping i can get a video up of some of our christmas decorations and maybe even some cooking videos or baking videos up in the next couple of weeks too while I do some of my Christmas baking. So make sure that you are subscribed and you have your notification bell on if you're interested in seeing any of those things. And in the meantime, please do leave a comment down below so that I know that you visited and we'll see you next time. Hope everybody's having a good week and stay warm if it's as cold where you are as it is where I am. Have a good week and we'll see you next time, buddy. Everybody, I can't speak. Why do I do this at the end of my day? I've called you guys buddy. I guess you guys are my buddies. My, you're my YouTube buddies, even though I haven't met most of you in person. I hope everybody is having a good week. Take care, everyone, and we'll see you next time. Oh, oh there's Pepe. He just flew back in. You saw him fly, a little blur of a blue Quaker parrot fly by the camera. Have a great week, everyone, and we'll see you next time.